Heard again, another picture perfect in. Hello, my name is uh, Bon Cole. I'm acting as curator for uh, Painted Forward, primarily uh, focused on the students' artwork. UMCA Sports uh, is the uh, company that actually came up with the concept of Painted Forward. It's a benefit to uh, raise funds uh, for inner city youth. Uh, primarily focusing on the youth that are gang banging and into the wrong things and to try to, to use the funds to show them a, a, a different way uh, through the arts. And I feel honored to be a part of uh, such an event. Uh, I think our overall criteria is going to be for uh, creativity, originality, uh, use of medium, and we should also think of uh, professionalism too, because we want to try to instill in these kids that we want to be teaching them something, this art to be used um, to provide them a good life, a good job, commercial. So, um, so if we can have everyone pick what they think best of show is, and then go put it against that brick wall down there. And if someone else has chosen it, that's fine. We'll just double count it when we get to the brick wall. I never do you wrong, cause my love for you was strong. Uh, my name is Eric Peterson, I'm representing the Los Angeles Academy of Figurative of Art up in Van Nuys, and it's an uh, honor to be here. Actually, it's really difficult to be a judge because, as you can see, all the work has its own very special merit. My, my public school system had a very, uh, an excellent art foundation. If every community had something like this, uh, every community would probably be a little bit better in the place. And I'm Kevin Brown. I'm an arts development manager at Sony Santa Monica. Uh, we make video games, uh, most specifically the God of War franchise. And I've been selected to be a judge and very honored to be here. And my name is uh, Eric Elder, and I'm the CEO of Online Worlds Entertainment. And uh, I'm here uh, judging uh, the art pieces here. I was invited by uh, Kevin Brown. Uh, looks like some really amazing work uh, that we're looking at. And uh, we're going to come up with some winners. The students have done a great job at executing on the theme um, and seeing a lot of different styles, a uh, variety of different uh, compositions, and really excited. One, one, and this little piece of paper. Two! Yes! <laughs> Oh, I think it's, it's really important to, um, to give young people access uh, to training and development and, and art fields and, you know, give them opportunities uh, like this to be able to win contests and to have achievements and, and get acknowledgement. I think it's vitally important. Hey, what's up? It's Man One. I'm right here downtown LA at my gallery, Crew West. So I'm gonna be doing a little painting for uh, the Paint It Forward project. So come on in, check it out. Well, uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a portrait today of uh, some Laker greats. So I'm gonna. You know what, I don't even know if I'm going to do Kareem or if I'm going to do Magic. I was going to do Magic, but I just found a cool picture of Kareem, so yeah. I might do Kareem. So we'll see right now, we'll see how it turns out. 
so it'll be the Korean magic. <laughs> I, I, I find a photograph that I like and then I, I uh, sketch it out and then I paint it. Um, over the years of doing that, now to just be more efficient and just, I have so many projects going on that, that now when I, when I paint, now with the, with the help of my digital projector, I don't need to do the initial sketch anymore. Because um, basically what I do is I, I like, I find the photograph, then I project it, and then all I gotta do is do a quick line sketch directly on the canvas. So I, I, I eliminated that drawing sketch. Um, so it's still freehand because I'm drawing over the, the, um, the canvas um, freehand, but it's no longer having to do with a, with, with a sketch on paper first and then scanning it and then projecting it. So now I just project it, do the quick outline, and then I just work from a photograph. So that's what I'm doing right now. I think the gallery has been really important to the city of LA and I've been able to showcase artwork from all, all over the world and show the different talent that's going on in this art movement, you know, we call graffiti art or street art. And beyond that, it's been good for local kids to come in and see what's possible, you know, that hey, I can put my artwork up and, and sell it and make a living and this is a viable art form and a viable way to make a living and make a career out of it. Hi, I'm Paul Boteo and I'm the art teacher here at Animal Pet Brown. Been here for two and a half years and I love it. Fill it in. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I believe in bringing art to the people because I'm a professional muralist. I've been doing this for God, over 20 years. Um, I got these are my murals right behind you. You know, from Michelangelo to the Mexican masters till today. It's, I think it's a legacy that is important. We're working on this NBA mural design project, improving areas that are maybe blighted with graffiti and, and you know, I would love to see some of these murals painted. My students, you know, love art, but a lot of them love sports. So it's a great uh, marriage of the two, integrating art and, and sports together. When they heard about this project, their eyes widened and they got a little bit more enthusiastic, engaged and connected. And so I think that's very important. Um, you know, you want to give some projects that, you know, that they can relate to. And everybody, like especially my kids, they love basketball. In fact, uh, you know, they're teaching me some things I didn't know. We're just drawing the Celtics and the Lakers playing against each other. I'm showing how much I love Gasol and how much I'm into basketball. It's simple but pretty. Well, we're drawing LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh from a normal version to a cartoon version. Well, basically, this is Kobe and um, Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett, and this is the Staples Center, the city. I think art will um, keep students out of like gangs and violence and all that stuff because like it keeps them concentrated and it gives them like like they know they're good at something. 
and it gives them more motivation to like keep on doing that. So. Some of my students, the ones working right in the corner over there, I was looking at their design. I'm like, why do you have like um, um, marijuana leaves and guns and knives and money? I go, what, what's that about? And they go, well, we're gonna put it in a circle with a line crossed through it because we don't want that. We don't want drugs. We don't want. We want to get our. We want to get our fix through art and, and sports. We want that to be our reward. Um, I, I teach them not only art but hopefully life lessons and about you know. Um, giving themselves something to do that's productive and not destructive. AJ Locksmith Ballard. Well, I discovered I had a talent at the age of seven, um, and it just grew from there. Uh, I, my stepdad was an artist also, and he, he told me, draw exactly what you see. And um, with that concept, I was able to conquer all types of art. And it started on clothing, and then slowly moved down to sneakers. In the sixth grade, taking an art class after school, after school program with Mrs. Wash, wherever you are, I appreciate you. And um, I ended up getting into the Plain Dealer for a competition that she placed my artwork in. And if I didn't know anybody believed in me, I, I actually know that she did. And that's what pushed me forward into believing in myself as I can actually do this. Um, as a business and be an artist in life. All right, I'm currently working on the East and West 2011 LA All-Star Shoe um, for the auction. And this design is based on the jersey itself. Um, I actually, there's a pattern on the back of the jersey that I hand engraved into the front of the sneaker on both of them. And then they're using a um, metallic lettering so each shoe has its own metallic, and the checks are metallic. So the, the blue represents the jersey, and this represents the, the stitching and you know, the front. When you see the jersey, it makes a lot of sense. And so this is what I'm working on. Um, the West will have the, the Staples Center painted in here, so when it shows up at the auction, you'll be able to see that. And then this one will have the Jerry West logo inside here and both of those will be uh, head painted and um, this I may engrave on this side. I had a very influential art teacher in the sixth grade and that's where you know it, it pretty much came into saving my life. Growing up they tell you that you know you're gonna be a starving artist and you know that wasn't a positive thing to me at all because I loved art. And so now I get to do what I love. This is going to be a special edition and a first at PimpMyKicks.com. It's going to come in a box set, and this will be featured, um, hopefully, in Sneaker Freaker and a lot of other sneaker magazines. I'm three
Hello all. My name is Kaylee Lucero and my daddy's about to start painting. I'm Archer One. I'm from Los Angeles, California. In the fourth grade, my teacher bugged out by some of my drawings um, and uh, gave me a and sent me to the principal's office and they gave me a scholarship to Cal State. In the fourth grade, when I walked into that campus, I told myself like, you, you, you really got something here and you should do something with it, you know? And from that point on, I stuck with it. Along my road in life, like I said, it put me out east side of, uh, of LA, Inland Empire, and um, man, the school I was at was, was too good, too brand new, I was too crazy for it. They found a way to put me into a continuation school. Guess what happened at this continuation school? World-renowned fine artist Charles Bibbs decided to come for career day. I was in school that day. I rolled in with my black book. I made all the goons I rolled with shut the hell up and pay attention. I met Charles Bibbs. I mean, Google him. I mean, if you, if you ain't heard about him, ask somebody. Um, but yeah, big influence. Killer in, in fine art. Um, the legend in, in, in a lot of people's books as far as like um, African-American art. Um, but I met him on career day and I was in there paying attention, asked all the right questions. He decided to look into my black book and was amazed and actually like told me, yo man, you're better than I was at your age. So I was so like into showing him more of my work. Luckily the art class in that school was like my little personal art gallery. Art teacher Ms. Ring loved me had my pieces everywhere. I was able to take Charles Bibbs into this classroom and be like, this is me. I grew up in uh, Alhambra, the east side of LA, San Gabriel Valley. Yes. Uh, and when I went to high school, that's when all of a sudden I got introduced into graffiti and, and, and tagging and all that. I already had this love for art and drawing. And then when I saw what was going on with graffiti, I realized, you know, these guys from New York, they were doing these trains and all this kind of stuff that I was looking at in books and in magazines. I was like, man, this is, this is pretty tight. This is what I want to do. And I just started painting and learning how to use a spray can and getting can control. And that took us a lot of years. So I can't see all the detail with the projector. So I leave it at this point right here. And then now I just start working from a photograph. And so I'll take it outside right now and just start actually working on it. The brands that I use are all imported from Europe, like Belton is from Germany. And, uh, uh, Cobra from Italy and Montana from Spain and so I like the MT in 94, I like the I like the um, Belton that you know. It's all good paint, you know, from Europe. The first thing that people think of when they think of spray paint is, you know, in the United States at least, in cities like LA or New York is vandalism or or you know gang related or something like that. <clears throat> in Europe that's not the case. In Europe they they know that that art is an artist tool and that artists use spray paint and that's what they develop, develop it for and um, that's what I use it for, you know, so um, 
it's just a shame that there's that mindset, you know. But that's part of why I have the gallery is to shift people's minds about what graffiti art truly is. You know, it's not vandal. It's not just vandalism on the streets. It's uh, there's an art form to it that people, you know, dedicate their lives to in perfecting. And you know, I'm one of those people. Well, I like I do everything in spray paint. That's my favorite. Just if I could do it all aerosol, um, that's what I prefer. You know, sometimes I mean I use acrylic, I use oils, I use color pencils. I use anything, but yeah. my favorite medium by far is spray paint, aerosol. You know. Um, Mr. Botello is a great teacher. He teaches great, and he's a very inspirational teacher because he, well, he comes from like from where we come from, like here in LA. And he's like a really good teacher, so it inspired me like, well, anyone could become what they want if they try hard. So here are my students doing something that's related to art, related to sports, and also has a kind of social message. Um, stay away from drugs, stay away from, you know, violence, stay away from like robbery, and concentrate on your dreams, man. Something positive, something that is going to help everyone. You know, that's, you know, that's really good to see that the message is also coming across that not just, you know, in art, but we're focusing on other things. You know, oh, we're, we're bringing in and we're connecting different things. And they're seeing the big picture, you know? And they have a chance to be part of the big picture. Okay, guys, <laughs> we're going to have a raffle. We got Crazy. two t-shirts, and you guys who are spending a lot of effort and time, we're going to raffle it. Drum roll. Okay, right first here. one. First one. <coughs> Osman. <laughs> Come on, let's make it a girl, hopefully. There is a... Edith! Edith! Yeah. Come on! Ready? Action. My name is Edith and I like to paint forward. My name is Alden and I like to paint it forward. My name is Lily and I like to paint it forward. My name is Edgar and I like to paint it forward. My name is Brian and I like to paint it forward. My name is Myra and I like to paint it forward. My name is Daisy and I like to paint it forward. My name is Alex and I like to paint it forward. My name is Roxana and I like to paint it forward. Hi, my name is Martin and I like to paint it forward. I wish I was right here every day. Hi, my name is Daniel and I like to paint it forward. My name is Cassandra and I like to paint it forward. My name is Mr. Botel and I like to paint it forward. It gives like a frame to your image and it allows you to focus on the, what's important. Kids need an oasis of the mind, I, I can say, you know. It's a, our school happens to be the best animal school around. Um, I say one of the best in the country. And here we are in an old recycle factory in a, in a kind of like, you know, lower income uh, neighborhood. But that is rich in culture, it's rich in tradition, it's rich in love, it's rich in compassion. And at this school, everybody gets along, everybody kind of has a respect for each other. Art and sports foster teamwork, they foster respect, um, they foster uh, collaboration. You know, they're both very multicultural. You know, I think it has that appeal.